Are you looking for a young rebuilding squad for 2020 to cheer on this season? Well, that could be Valor FC. And I'm gonna tell you why you should be following them right here in 2020, so stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Curtis here and you're watching my channel, AFC Curtis, your home for all things Canadian Premier League content right here on YouTube. So definitely hit that red subscribe button. So if this is the first time you're tuning into this video series here, this is one of the first of many videos in this little series leading up to the start of the 2020 season. For each video, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time talking about a specific club in the CPL and get you re-familiar or just familiar with this club if this is your first time following the CPL and kind of bring you some points and characteristics of why you should support this club. And in this week's video, we're gonna be talking about my hometown club from the city of Winnipeg drum roll please imaginary in my head Valor FC so let's get started now if you're looking for a club that has a nasty social media just as nasty as a record in 2019 then Valor FC could be for you and the reason why I say that is they have one of the best social media follows literally of any club not just in the Canadian Premier League but possibly in all of CONCACAF I love this limit it to Con CONCACAF right now I don't know about Europe for sure but definitely they have one of the best social media follows as well as they're one of the most entertaining clubs to watch last year in 2019 now they didn't always win games because they did finish among the bottom teams in the league last year but they definitely were entertaining whether they're winning losing or even getting draws it was always a good good atmosphere at IGF field there to watch those games and even watch them when they're on the road too it's still pretty entertaining to watch a lot of goals were definitely scored on them as well as for them last year in 2019 and the last characteristic I think I would put for this club for me was that they actually have a club that stands for something that's really unique and really cool and for someone like myself that comes from a military family I definitely pay a lot of respect to Valor FC and the name and the history around the logo which we're going to get into right now. So now with the crest here as we look at it it's really spot on I love this crest as a Winnipegger as a Manitoban this is a fantastic looking crest it, it's the shape of a Victoria medal which is one of the highest honors you can get in the military service uh, it's a beautifully well done um, emblem here crest for the club here uh, the V even it's a, a crossing of the Red River Assiniboine River as well that's what the V kind of shapes uh, into as well as one side of the V is actually at the shape of a W there but the three lines are making a W uh, which is a beautiful thing and of course on top there with the little wheat that represents Manitoba's agricultural uh, world here which is a big part of Manitobans lives here in Manitoba a lot of Manitoba on that one but still overall I think it's a great crest very unique and a really bang up job all the crests so far for all eight clubs in the CPL have been fantastic and this is another great example of it right here with Valor FC's logo. Now you're probably saying why Valor FC is the name. I think it's a perfect name for this great story reason. It's because it's all about three young men, three Winnipeg born young men that in the lead up to World War One enlisted in the war and they all grew up on the same street which is now known as Valor Road and the reason why is because all three men fought in World War One. Only one did come back unfortunately and but all three of them did earn the Victoria Cross medal which is the highest medal you can earn in the British Empire military so I mean great story here it's a great story if you want to learn more about it I'm gonna have a link for it down in the description below on the club's website because it's a story I think everyone needs to read and understand because I think there's the name and everything the club stands for overall is one of the best if not the best in the Canadian Premier League just for that great story alone now Valor does play out of one of the biggest stadiums in the CPL their max capacity is actually 33,500 but their average attendance last year was a little over 5,000 fans which I think I could see increasing here in 2020 to a little bit of about 6,000 I think would be a good mark to hit this year consistently especially if we do bring back the entertainment kind of side of things from last year but maybe with a little bit more positive results a little bit more home wins hopefully as it did kind of did have one of the worst home records in terms of wins last year so hopefully that can increase in 2020. Now speaking of last year the club did finish sixth overall which means second worst in the league last year now with eight teams this year they could finish seventh or eighth which means a bit of a decrease from last season but I don't think so I think they're going to stay at least in top six this year uh, they yes, they did lose a lot of players from last season, but they also gained in a lot of good talent this year, uh, and the club is looking pretty good there with my three key players, I have to say. Brett Levi's for sure is one of them, coming from the Vancouver Whitecaps. Injuries kind of hindered him in the MLS, but I think CPL is a perfect level for him right now to break out in. Uh, just 26 years old. Attacking uh, midfielder slash winger there, Fraser Arid is another good talent there. 24-year-old Canadian coming over from the UK. Definitely going to be popping off, I think, in, in 2020 for Valor FC. And the last one's going to be former left back from League One, over 
over in France there. Uh, definitely a good talent player. One of the top players, I think, in the Canadian Premier League this year will be this left back, and that's Arnold Buka Mutu. Uh, so I think these are three players that I think are going to be leading the charge for Valor FC in 2020. Well, guys, let me know down in the comment section below. Will Valor FC have an improvement this season upon last year? Will they finish in the top five or even top six in general this season with all these new additions? Or will the losses of uh, Tardo, Busos, Petrasso, will that end up hurting the team in 2020? Let me know down in the comment section below. And of course, if you like this video, definitely hit that thumbs up like button as well as the red subscribe button. And if you hit that little bell notification ad on beside the red subscribe button, you actually get notified each and every week when I drop a brand new episode just like this one. And other than that, guys, you can also check out my content over at northernstarting11.com. I'll have a link for that website down in the description below. And until next time, guys, I'll check you later.